I'm finally, finally going to buy my couch. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not about the way you said. Alright, y'all. I'm headed to Walmart because we need some groceries. And um, also, I want to return this stuff. Um, I bought a few sweatsuits, like uh, crew neck sweatshirts and uh, what was it? Straight leg um, sweatpants from Walmart. And they just been in my closet since Thanksgiving, before the week of Thanksgiving when I bought them. And I never had tried them on before. So this morning I was like, let me just go ahead and try them on, see how they fit so that if they don't fit right, I can take them back, y'all. Those <laughs> pants are literally like four or five inches above my ankles. Like, what? Who are they making these pants for? Like, I don't understand who is fitting these. Who can fit these? I'm not even super tall. I'm only five six. I mean, it's taller than average, but okay. Change of plans. Since I'm already, ooh. since I'm out. I'm gonna go ahead and stop in TJ Maxx. We recently got a TJ Maxx um, in our area. So, about to run in here and see if they have anything for Cody's room. It's full on Christmas in here and this is a smaller location. So, they don't have much normal home decor. I haven't seen much. Let's well, just, oh, it's still a little Christmassy. May have to wait until the holiday's over. When I bought this container set, it was marketed as a Black Friday deal, but it's still $30. So if y'all want to try it, come to Walmart and grab one. I don't really have much else that I need to get in here besides food. I was looking at stocking stuffers, but we're looking for stocking stuffers, but I didn't really find anything. So Forgot to show y'all how this works. So you plug the cord into the battery. It needs to charge for 14, 14 hours. And then back here, there's a little door. Plug this in. And then this goes in here. And that's it. Just hang this up so it's not dragging on the floor and then she's ready let me see i think i don't know which way is backwards yeah and she's ready to ride so that's it and this is where we keep for now where we keep all of their bikes and stuff all right y'all let's do a quick grocery haul it's gonna be super quick because i need to um Get this stuff in the freezer and fridge. Ice cream bars going in the freezer right now. Um, this week, I tried to like meal plan a little bit so that we would kind of know what we're going to be having to eat this week. So I can kind of, so I could not just be buying anything randomly in the store. Still did a little bit of it, random shopping, but um, for the most part, pretty curated as far as what I bought because I know what we're going to have this week. One thing we're going to have is a taco pasta with ground turkey and for that I'm using shells. Um, I got some chicken egg rolls, some waffles, some baby bell mushrooms. I like those for like putting into scrambles and stuff like that. 
We're also having Mediterranean bowls one day this week. So I'm trying out a new hummus. This brand is Fresh Cravings and I'm trying their Mediterranean hummus. This one has Chilean extra virgin olive oil and some kind of like sauce or something in it. It looks like maybe peppers, red peppers or something. For the Mediterranean bowls also got some tzatziki and some feta and then some grape tomatoes. I'm trying out some chai tea mix, classic chai latte mix, the Tazo one because, is it Tazo or Tazo? I'm not sure. But um, I was thinking that, first of all, I'm over the hot coffee, like I'm tired of it. And my preference is iced coffee. But iced coffee is high in calories when I make it because I like my caramel in it and all that. So I'm thinking if I use this, this is three quarters of a cup of this is 110 calories. And then I can do some milk and maybe some almond milk, like you half and half, 2% and almond milk, so that it'll be less than 200 calories by the time I'm done. Some taco seasoning for the taco pasta. And then I found a couple different, well, I only found one, one that I've never seen before, this Caribbean jerk um, wing seasoning. And I also got some wings. So that could be a meal today, tomorrow, whenever. The soy almonds, these are for my husband to like snack for the week. I haven't eaten anything, I'm sorry. Me too, I haven't had anything to eat either. Some um, coleslaw mix. This is good to saute it so you can have cabbage without having to I don't know I have, I don't know actually I have chop the cabbage and stuff. Plus, it's like the perfect amount for one dinner. It's got the Walmart brand, that's not right. Cajun turkey. And then I also got some smoked ham. Got one bag of the four cheese and one bag of the spinach and cheese ravioli. More coffee creamer, more half and half because we're running low on those. What do you want? Not right this second. Corey. Two 
slabs of um, St. Louis ribs. And it had chicken breast on sale at Food Lion. And it was cheaper than, way cheaper than um, Walmart. It was on sale for $1.99 pound. So this is $6. So I got two of these. They also had Fruity Pebbles on sale at um, Food Lion. This was another good deal. I think these were $1.50. But it was another like Saturday only, Saturday and Sunday only deal. The rest of the week they would have been two for five or two for six, I think. Two for five. So yeah, grabbed a couple of those. Some um, of the Walmart brand Oreos. These taste like Oreos. So if you don't want to take Oreos, you should get those. And then this was just on, this was like the Oops We Overbaked section. Those are on sale for $2.75 for these sweet rolls, which I'm about to have one of because I'm starving. And I got some different breads. I love this bread. This is the Nature's Own Perfectly Crafted Thick Slices White Bread. Love it. It's so good. And then um, just a normal honey wheat bread, the Walmart brand. Some Walmart brand honey nut Cheerios. I'm never against buying off-brand cereal as long as it's good. I don't know if we need more peanut butter or not, but we typically do, so I just grab another one. too but for like quick and easy and less calories this is so good it's like oh my gosh i've been missing out so it current the time is currently 8 59 in the morning and i have no plans for today i don't really intend to do much um i have i was online excuse my scarf here. let me just take it off um i was online last night looking at some um, pieces for our bedroom. I found a nightstand option on Wayfair, but, and I ordered it. I ordered one just to see what it, like if I would like it or not, but I decided to cancel the order because I'm just, although I love the way they look, I know they're not good quality. And that's why I don't wanna order them. Um, also, I ordered one bar stool or counter stool just to kind of see how they would look in person. We're going to assemble it. We're going to see how it looks. And hopefully we love it. And I'll order the other two if we do. And I, that's as far as I got. All right. Although I don't know what I want to do about furniture, what else is new, I do need to start preparing for the week. So I'm going to make some tuna with shrimp in it. And then I also took out some chicken breast. For dinner, I'm gonna make the Mediterranean bowls. Mm. 
And then once the eggs are almost done cooking, that's when I'll add in the shrimp. And if y'all need something to watch, there's a new series that just came out on Amazon Prime Video called Riches. It's so good. I literally watched it in Friday, on Friday night and Saturday morning. Started it on Friday night, finished it on Saturday morning. So good. It's about a black family in London that have a um, hair care business and like all of that stuff. Like all of the drama that goes with that and infighting. And it was really, really good. I highly recommend it. Can't wait for season two because it was, I'm sure that they're going to have another one because it was just really, really good. Really well written, really, really well. Like the production was good. It was good. I just stepped out the front door and it's kind of cold out here. This is my view out the front door. Still building that house across the street. y'all something real quick because i'm online paying our mortgage but um they have this option this like calculator that shows you what happens if you add to your monthly payment so if we were to add ten dollars a month to our monthly payment we would save six thousand three hundred forty two dollars in interest and we would pay off our loan three months early if we were to pay an extra two hundred dollars a month we would save $104,000 in interest and we pay off our year, our loan four years early, four years and two months early. If we were to pay an extra $1,000 a month, we would save $303,000 in interest and pay off our mortgage 12 years and 11 months early. Like that is crazy. So I just wanted to show y'all this so that if you are considering maybe adding a little bit to your mortgage, maybe look up one of these calculators so that you can, um, get a better idea of what that would look like and how how much you would save because for us we're paying more and more like because our interest rate is so high we're going to pay more if we were to just pay our normal payment for 30 years we would pay more in interest than our house is worth so let that sink in <laughs> y'all know i'm all about like good financial health and all of that so we would definitely be making a adding some amount to our mortgage payments and even if it's $100 a month, eventually we'll be able to do two, then we'll be able to do three, then we'll be able to do four, then seven, then 1,000, then 2,000. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this so that you can start considering, if you have a mortgage, adding extra money to it every month so that you can actually see how much money you're saving because to pay, to save $400,000 in interest is huge. To pay off your mortgage an extra 17 years early, like that's crazy. And it's, it's amazing how much, how little it takes. Like, so let's say we did 2,100. We'd probably be at 18 years. Yep. We'd be at 18 years with just an extra $100. And we would save an extra $7,000 in interest. We will definitely be having a conversation today about how much extra we want to pay for our mortgage every month because not paying anything extra is no longer an option. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this, I'm so happy they had this on our um, like mortgage website. Y'all, there's so many things on the wall. I need to re repaint, like touch up the paint in so many different places. But 
yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that so that you know, you know, that it is an option. If you have a few extra hundred dollars a month that you don't spend, definitely worth it to put it towards your mortgage so that you can pay it off a little bit earlier and you can save a ton of money in interest. Good morning. It is a brand new day. It's Monday, actually. The weekend is over. I'm back at work and I have my chai. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this chai. It's so good so good but um i caught myself trying to get cute this morning i got up early and took my hair out of those twists and y'all do you see all of this product residue as long as i stay far away from the camera you can't really see it but once i get up close it looks absolutely terrible i'm gonna have to wash my hair today and i literally just washed my hair a couple days ago it was like four maybe four or five days ago um when i put this when i put those twists in with let me show y'all the product that I used because I'm about to throw it away. I just wanted to show y'all first so that you don't buy it. It's this. I'm throwing this in the trash because literally it is my hair. I really didn't even put that much and I tried to mix it with water and everything. And it's still, it did the same thing when I put it in um, my kid's hair too. So it just ain't for us. So I'm I'm getting rid of it. If y'all don't stop, oh my gosh. Okay, clean it up. Somebody clean it up. Go get a towel and. <sighs> Kids are driving me insane. Anyway, got a package which I believe is um, yep, my mixer paddle. I just ordered a new one. I, think I told y'all about this i ordered a new one because i wanted it the one i was using at thanksgiving it wasn't scraping the bowl good enough for me so i got this one which should do a much better job and this was like i think ten dollars twelve dollars something like that on amazon so i'm gonna try this out one day this week i want to make a pumpkin bread i can't have my gucci on i can't have my louis vuitton but even with nothing on, but I made you look, I made you look. When my morning hair is a mess, but even with nothing on. Oh, what'd she say? How the words go, Cody? What? I'm hotter when my morning hair's a mess. But even my morning hair's a mess. I got another meeting in a bit. I'm trying to look less crazy. So, hopefully this will help. Even though my hair is still so freaking flaky. I feel like it camouflages it a little bit better to have it up and not down. Is it heavy? Kind of. Um, these are our pillows. I ordered pillows for me and your father. Um, King size pillows. I'm not about to open this right this second, but I'll show y'all when I do. All right, y'all. We are at the park because the kids just wanted to come and play. It's almost dark outside, so they're going to be, we're going to be going home in a bit, but. There they are. This camera is the worst in low light. Hold on. I am about to switch back to Android. Ooh. I'm about to switch back to Android because this phone ain't it. Like, I thought that having an Apple phone, having an iPhone would make it easier to do all my stuff, like to um, import my footage and um, just be more productive when it comes to my video editing process. And no, when I tell you that it's worse, than having an Android. Now I just need to research and figure out which phone, which phone I want to get. Yes. Huh? Let her swing too. Okay. All right. Bye. Go swing, Corey. But um, I got a package because I ordered some um jewelry from Ana Luisa. 
I've heard so many people talk about it and I just really wanted some jewelry that is not cheap and doesn't turn colors and all that. So I ordered some. Yes. I need to sit down for you know something important. It, I'm filming. Okay, sorry. Ordered some jewelry. Might be best to show y'all in the house, but here they are. And if it's good, I'm gonna go back and order some more. Cause, ooh, it's so pretty. This is a necklace. So the second one is earrings and they are so cute. Y'all, they're so freaking cute. They're like little safety pins. They're so cute. Right, y'all, I just had to wash my hair cause. No, I bought, new, I bought a new one. Okay. There's a brand new one in there. Um, because of all that residue that was in my hair, all that white stuff, I had to wash it. I just did like a, uh, what's it called? A co-wash. Just washed it with conditioner. We're about to have that inside of the bowls. I don't want you to keep covering mine. Okay, you can put whatever topping you want in yours. Let's just do all of them. Okay, so I got my um, cucumbers and tomatoes chopped, and I'm gonna add some lime juice because that's what I have. Should have bought some um, Greek vinaigrette, but I didn't think about it. And then I'm gonna add some parsley. All right, some salt, some pepper. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of complete seasoning. That means it's connected to a light switch. Okay. up y'all so it is a brand new day and i am in richmond i decided to come and do your destination is on the left i decided to come and do some shopping so i'm finally finally gonna buy my couch and chairs for the living room i'm thinking about also going to rh and buying the dining room table today but we will see i'm nervous <laughs> But I'm at Pottery Barn, it's right there. I'm gonna run in and I have my um, estimate and everything for this order so I don't have to get that part done again since it's already done. All I have to do is have them, basically give them the order that they already created for me and then pay for it. I mean, although I'm nervous about it, I know I need to get it done because we need furniture. Like, we need a couch, we need chairs, we need all the things. All right, so there's Crate and Barrel. There's Pottery Barn. Let's go ahead in. And just so y'all know, this is at Short Pump Town Center in Richmond. I'm good, how are you? Thank you. Yours are cute too. I want some different, like white boots. You want white boots? I do, or cream I want or some, something. Yeah. Are you ready to do this? I am. I was also thinking about ordering um, a couch, the Pottery Barn Teen couch for my daughter, the L. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, here. Just because of the shipping costs, and it makes more sense. I feel better about a white one than any other color, because then if she changes her mind about what color she likes, I don't have to worry about it. I can just change decor and not the furniture. Okay, here. Here's <laughs> hers. Here's the team. The team. Um, but they might have different options. 
and we're looking at the 40 inch Balboa chairs, right? These two are the 40 inch. Yeah, okay. Okay, furniture order has been placed. Now, at uh, Crate and Barrel. So, I just wanna see what they have. One thing I wanted to look at in here was the acrylic glasses um, because I want glasses but I want the kids to be able to use them without breaking them so these are actually um, $1.97 online but you have to pay shipping so I might as well just go ahead and pay the extra dollar per glass and get these here this is so pretty I love it. Oh my gosh. And it's crystal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Might as well look at dining chairs while we're here. None of these are speaking to me. Just looking at this couch for our bedroom. Not this version and not this, um, not the one with the wood base. Um, but it's a little bit too big too wide for our sitting room so i'm trying to figure out if they have a shorter version i don't think they do though but maybe they will at some point i wouldn't be looking at the one with um the double chase i would look at, i would be getting one that only has one chase but again it's just too big for our space i think it's like 10 inches too big oh oh you definitely need more pillows because it is so far back Ooh. yeah I don't know now that I'm sitting on it I'm not like I don't love it oh no it does not have any edge support either like look at how uh -uh, I don't like the way it feels sitting on it okay so now that that's done I'm driving across the parking lot to our house I want to look at the lighting the chandelier that I'm planning on buying from them and just kind of see what it looks like in person I've seen it online I know what it looks like online but I want to see it in person I want to see like how it glistens and stuff would have been better on a sunny day so to really get the full effect but um it's rainy but it is what it is so let's head over there let's go and see what they have and then then I'm going to dinner I'm going to uh, firebirds to treat myself to dinner and that's what's on the agenda These are nice. Oh, and they roll. Oh, oh my gosh. This table is the exact color that I want that I was originally looking for in the table. So I'm gonna look at some of their tables while I'm here too. Ooh, look at the base of it. So cute. I love it. I don't love this though. I don't want the leaf in the middle. Ooh, look at this bench. This is super cute. Does this come in gray? <gasps> Does this come in gray? Oh my gosh, if this comes in gray, 70 is perfect the perfect size oh my god y'all this might be my bedroom bench because i love it it's so pretty look at the gray oh my gosh i love it so much it's two different um charcoal gray options y'all probably don't know why i'm looking at charcoal gray because i haven't been keeping y'all like up to date on what I'm going for in my bedroom yet, but it will all make sense pretty soon. Okay. 
cashmere. Oh, I love this. I'm looking at everything but what I came to look at. Okay, let's see if we can find the chandelier. Oh, they have some really nice tables. Oh my goodness. Now, it does come in different finishes. Yeah, I want the black, so I'm glad that okay. you guys have the black on the floor. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. It's getting started because we uh, just moved in in September. Oh. And I've been like trying to be really careful about what we buy so all we have so far is beds Aww. and then i just bought couch chairs and a table from pottery barn oh, so wonderful <laughs> yeah this is going to be the, the next few years where you're yep <laughs> yeah well. and everything is so expensive so you kind of have to go slow to get what you want well, it is so this is Ooh, the this color is of the bed. so pretty that is your color that it would be i love it does it have a um, dresser that goes with it too? Like a. Or no. He didn't order those items. Get rid of this trash. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I got from, am I in the frame? The only thing I got from Crate and Barrel was the glasses I showed y'all. One thing that the lady said was that, oh, and they were actually the same price as the website. They were $1.95. So that was a good deal. I really, really love the shape of these. They're so cute. See how they're like, not perfect circles. I love that. So I got six of these, which I'm gonna have the kids pull the stickers off of. Them. And then um, the lady in the store at Crate and Barrel was saying that she recommends hand washing them because they can um, get this color in the microwave. Where's the remote? Who got the TV remote? But yeah, so I got six of these. That's pretty much all I bought while I was out with the exception of the couch, the Pottery Bond order. So I'm gonna show y'all everything I got from Pottery Bond because they actually print out a receipt with pictures. All right, y'all, let's go upstairs. I actually need to wash clothes because I don't have any more night clothes and I have a bunch of dirty clothes. So I need to go put a lot of clothes in the washing machine. Y'all look at all these clothes. This don't make no sense. Twist my hair because we got a little bit of rain going on and now it's frizzy. And we have a staff meeting tomorrow, so I'm gonna retwist my hair tonight to make sure it looks good tomorrow. Tell me why I just did that whole I just told you that whole story while I was washing my face and the camera was not rolling. Anyways, I used this apricot scrub along with my uh inky list. Cleanser. This is the Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. I really like this one. Um, and I use this to exfoliate. Um, so now we need to tone, we need to moisturize and all that. But I'm gonna tell y'all the story again, even though I just told y'all because the camera was not running. Very annoying. Hyaluronic acid serum. And then I'm gonna do a cream and a, um, what's this called? A skin oil. Let me know what order. Do y'all know what order this stuff goes in? Because I think what I'm going to do is... I 
cleansed, of course, toning goes next. I think I do the serum and then the moisturizer and then the oil. Okay, so what happened was I took y'all into Pottery Bomb with me and I already, the same sales associate that I used the last time I went was in there today. So I used, I um, reintroduced myself and was like, you know, you helped me the last time. So now I'm back to just buy the order that you put together for me, blah, blah, blah. We were talking, all that. Um, so we went over my order and I, it looked like everything was good. We, you know, just reconfirmed that the um, fabric was correct and all that. Everything looked good. So I went ahead and placed the order with her today. And then we went to Crate and Barrel together. I took y'all with me to Crate and Barrel. And then when I left Crate and Barrel, I got in the car and I was on my way to our house, but something told me to just look at the um, paper because they actually print out, they give you a printout, like a receipt basically with your order number and everything on it, but it also has pictures of the items that you ordered. So I'm looking at the picture and um, it said Grand Sofa, Big Sur Grand Sofa, but it didn't say Deep Seat. So I was like, does it just not say it or is it not actually the Deep Seat version of this sofa? So I went on to Pottery Barn website. I built the sofa again and sure enough, the price was different. So um, the Deep Seat version was $300 more than the regular version. So when I built it, I was like, oh damn. It's not the right version. So then I called Pottery Barn and explained to them what happened. And she was like, the lady on the phone was like, well, you might just need to cancel that particular item and then place another order for it. And I'm like, uh, no, because I'm not going to pay shipping twice. Y'all, the shipping is expensive. It's like almost $300 each time for each time you order stuff. So that's why I was like trying to get everything into the same order because I'm not trying to pay six, $700 in shipping when I can put that money toward actual furniture. So um, I had already, because I had, I added Cody's couch to the order too, I forgot to tell y'all that. I ordered Cody's couch from Pottery Barn Team and I ordered my couch, the couch and the chairs for the living, for the family room from Pottery Barn. So since that's two separate websites, I ended up having to pay shipping twice, but then the sales associate that I was working with, she called them and then got one of the, um, the Pottery Barn team shipping refunded to me. So essentially right now it's a hold on my, on my card, but when the order actually goes out, I'll get a credit for that amount. So what ended up happening was we ended up having to cancel the entire order. I'm gonna go ahead and now my face is dry, start moisturizing and stuff while we talk. So yeah, we went ahead and canceled the entire order and then I could not repurchase it today because literally it was $9,000 and that was almost my entire credit card um, balance, not balance, my, that was my available money on my credit card. So I couldn't um, place the order again today because it, it used up all of the money that was available on my credit card. Um, but with this particular credit card, it has no interest for 18 months, which is why I'm using this credit card to buy the, um, my furniture because I want to not have to pay it all off right this second. So I'm gonna give myself a few months to pay it off and that way I can do it interest free. And then once it's paid, I can go ahead and start buying other stuff. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and now I'm going in with the Elf Happy Hydration Cream. Happy Hydration Cream. This is the hemp derived cannabis sativa seed oil. I think it comes in multiple versions, but this is the version I'm using. And then the face oil is the exact same thing, but just in the face oil. So it's all the feels facial oil, hemp derived cannabis sativa. Cannabis sativa. Cannabis sativa. Man, it's hard to say. Okay, so whew, I went back in there. What was I at? She didn't interrupt me. I don't know where I left off, but long story short, I couldn't repurchase it today. I have to wait until the order actually falls off of my account, which could take two to three to five business days. So whenever it falls off, I will place the order again. 
Um, the one thing that didn't get canceled is Cody's order and she was just basically like, you already have a credit for the shipment for that one. So whenever you call back to place the order for the couch and stuff again, we'll charge you for shipping, but you are, just know that you already have a credit coming back anyway. They only want to pay shipping one time. So now that the order is canceled, what I'm thinking is tomorrow I'm going to take some painter's tape. And do three. Uh -huh. No, I spilled it. I'm gonna do three drip, three drops of this oil. Oh my gosh, girl, you, this is why we can't have nice things. What I realized is that I never actually um, skincare routine is done. But what I realized is that I never actually like built the room and spaced everything out and did that so what i'm gonna do tomorrow is take some painters tape and just put it down exactly where the couch would go make sure i have the right measurements the depth the width and then the table that i have in my order i'm gonna put draw that in tape on the floor in the right dimensions and then the coffee table that i'm thinking about getting same thing the chairs same thing and that way i can actually visualize where everything is going to go make sure i can walk around it freely Make sure I have space to do everything we need to do in there. And that it's going to look good in the space. Uh, you know, I really feel like I could just pineapple this and sleep like that. It's, it doesn't look too bad. I think it's good enough to wear tomorrow. So I'm going to stick with the pineapple for tonight so I don't do any extra work. Oh, and what I forgot to tell y'all is when I went back in the store... After I talked to the lady on, um, did, I, did I even say I went back in the store? I talked to the lady on the um, Pottery Barn when I called Pottery Barn. And then I went in the store when she was like, just canceled it, that particular thing. I was like, um, no, ma'am, I won't be doing that because I need to get my shipping. Um, I need to not get charged for shipping. So I went in the store and the lady was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She's very apologetic. And I mean, to be honest, it was partially my fault too, because I also didn't um, specify, but I specified the first time when she built the order. So I just assumed it was right this time, but I, I should have checked, double checked it before I allowed the order to go to um, be charged to my account, but it's cool. Lesson learned. I actually bought the paperwork up here so I can show y'all what it looks, what everything looks like so y'all can see what's going into the house or what I'm, what's coming into the house. Okay, so the first thing is Cody's sectional. She's getting the L right arm sectional set in Everyday Velvet Ivory. It's um, kind of similar to a microfiber, so super easy. What the heck? The freaking whole fire department is here. What, why is the fire department here? Because one of them let the alarm go off or something. Oh my god. Who touched the alarm? Somebody obviously did. No, someone set it off. I, tur I turned the alarm off. Yeah, no. Uh, Who turned it on? I don't know. Dad did it from his phone. I'm so scared. I'm literally shut up. It has got to stop. Like, give me, go put them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, somebody set off a fire alarm somewhere and now the fire department is outside of our house that is oh my gosh just wow y'all okay so hold on how do you back out of this so it says that it was there was a fire emergency at 8 51 another one at 8 51 and then it was disarmed i I didn't hear anything, and I was recording. Y'all, y'all, did y'all hear anything? <laughs> I wish it had sound. What the heck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it was going off. I didn't hear it. Yeah, though, it's green. The alarm is off. It says it was disarmed. That's the last thing. Oh my gosh, this is a more eventful night than I planned, than I care to have, honestly. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, so Cody is, I got her the L right arm sectional in everyday velvet, and the color is ivory. Whew, I'm tired. 
And then what I got for downstairs is Delaney 28 inch marble end table in bronze, which basically looks black. So it's black rectangular table with a white and gray marble top. And then I got the Big Sur square arm upholstered grand sofa. Um, the cushions are a down blend and the fabric is the Sunbrella Performance Chenille fabric in salt. And then what I got were two of the Balboa upholstered swivel chairs, um, polyester wrapped cushions, and then again, I got the Sunbrella Performance Chenille fabric and salt. So it says the estimated made to order estimated standard delivery January 9th uh, through 25th. So, and of course you get the white glove delivery and all that. So actually, I think I feel pretty, I feel good enough to go down and actually um, start doing this right now it's time for the kids to go to bed so i'm gonna send i'm gonna send them to bed and then i'm gonna start working on carving out this living room with the tape Here's the two chairs. So you can see there's still a ton of space. So I could probably even scoot the chairs up some. Now I need to put in the RH coffee table and the side table from Pottery Barn and then maybe some kind of little um, small table in between these two chairs. Or maybe a small ch table on either side of the chairs, like one on this side, one on that side. We'll see. I haven't even picked out a table yet, but I just wanted to see how the table, how the chairs and couch were looking here together. Now to the coffee table. So I can either do a 60 inch, the table comes in a couple different options that could work. It's a 60 by, 67 by 43. Can y'all hear 67 by 43? Or, oh, 55 by 32 or 67 by 43. The 60 inch one is square. And I don't want that. So, and also don't want the round one because the chairs are round. So I want to do a rectangular table. So I think we're going to go with the 67 by 43. So I'll put that in and see how it looks. If that doesn't look good, then we'll go with the 55 by 32. I don't think you know either. Because I was just saying I wanted to. She probably does know because she had to look at the blueprints and stuff. Would you buy now? All right. So the couch is. 105 105 inches and i really feel like the 67 inch table is gonna be too big like that's huge let me see how 55 would look i feel like 55 is probably better so here is the 55 i think that is probably a better size just in comparison to the couch and i really think that we could probably scoot the chairs up some. Actually, no, we need space to walk around everything. So I need to actually scoot these apart a little bit more. So I probably will line the chairs up with the ends of the couch. So like on this side, oh no, I'm gonna have to go out further than the couch. So I actually need to scoot. I think I need to scoot them this way and probably also scoot the couch this way. I might need to order two of those tables. 
Dang, I wish the couch was just a little bit bigger now. Um. Okay, now I'm like rethinking because they don't have a bigger couch at Pottery Barn, not the one that I want. It comes, 105 is the biggest. I mean, 105 is fine, especially, I just have to make sure that everything else like lines up good with it. I'm a, okay, I'm gonna put the coffee table in and then we'll see how much space we have to walk around everything. And like, if I'm sitting on the couch, can I still reach the coffee table kind of thing? And then once we put accessories, so what I'm thinking, we're gonna put the Delaney table right here beside, on this side of the couch. We're gonna do a really big plant on that side of the couch. So it'll fill up a lot of this space. So we're gonna do a the Delaney table right here with a lamp on it. And then obviously the lamp will plug in right here. And then we'll do a huge tall plant right here to fill up that space. And then we'll do the coffee table, two chairs, and maybe like I said, a small table in between the two chairs. And then of course the chairs are round, they swivel. So we need room to walk around the chairs. This is not enough room. Like we need to scoot the chairs up a little bit but we need to be able to walk around them effortlessly. And I'm already like stepping on this chair when I'm trying to walk around this one. So these need to be scooted over some, but let's go ahead and carve out the coffee table and then we'll see like how it looks after that. this is going to be the couch right here and then this is the coffee table these are the two round chairs and then over here this is the side table which is the delaney and the coffee table is from rh it is the heston rectangular coffee table in the light gray wood and the light light gray concrete and the reclaimed pine i think like gray washed wood I opted out of getting the sofa with the chaise because as you can see from the layout, like a chaise would not really, although the ones with the chaise are longer, it's going to take up too much space. The chaise is going to be like directly in front of the, um, what's this called? In front of the fireplace. It's just going to not have great flow. If I were to, if I would have done a chaise, it would have given us a little bit more space, like seating, and um, the couch would have been longer, but I don't think the flow would have been that great. So that's why I opted out of having a chaise sofa. So yeah, now that I see it all laid out, I really like really like the way it looks. And guess what I'm eating? A Pop-Tart. Well, wait, guess, they have to guess what flavor is it. Show them, show them what it looks like. Hold it up. What flavor do y'all think, what flavor Pop-Tart do y'all think she's looking? Eating, drop a comment below. Okay, by Miss Corey. <laughs> All right, and then over in this corner, we're gonna do a plant. Um, so I'm thinking, Corey, bye. I'm thinking a super tall, super full plant would look really good over there. We're gonna do on this, on top of this uh, Delaney table, we're gonna do a lamp, most likely with a black shade. And then we'll do some decor on top of the table. I'm thinking maybe a vase with some nice stems or even a really big bowl with some filler and I don't know we'll see we'll see what we come up with but that's what we have I do have some deliveries that we can go ahead and go through right now this I believe before I get from under my tripod what is that? it is pillows I ordered pillows for me and Bernie I think I told y'all that I ordered pillows, king size pillows, because we obviously have a king size bed. And Kane has, I bought him a new sheet set with shams and pillowcases and stuff to match his new duvet from Pottery Barn Kids, Pottery Barn Team. And What's this one? I'm about to switch out our pillow, give him our pillows, and then put these pillows in our room. Because the reason why I haven't put his bed together is because we didn't have his pillowcase, his um, bedding, his like sheets and um, pillowcases and duvets and stuff yet. And then once I got it, I didn't have actual pillows for him. 
but then I realized it didn't make sense to buy him pillows when I could just buy us pillows because we need king size pillows anyway and then give him the queen size pillows so that's what we ended up doing They're, I think they're the same because I ordered four, I ordered two, two packs of the pillows. So four total. Oh, that's heavy. And they have to kind of inflate a little bit. Obviously came out of that pack where it was rolled up, but it's already, you can already see it starting to get some, oh. starting to inflate. That's, that's very heavy. Oh. They look nice. I like the pattern on them. And it also came with some extra filling. Why so if you healthy? find that yours aren't full enough, you could give it a little bit more stuffing. Like, I Zipper is how you would get inside the pillow to like fill it some more. So obviously you would open this and then open this and then just stuff some more of that um, filling into it. So yeah, these look actually really good. And they're in this one. I haven't, I didn't like shake this one up too much and it is inflating pretty much on its own. So yeah, I think I'm happy with the way that's, these are turning out. All right. So I went ahead and put one of them on. It looks good. So let's go ahead and make this bed. Let's put all of the pillow covers on all of the pillowcases on the new pillows. And then we'll see how it looks when, it, when we're done. switch out the charcoal I can switch it out the charcoal gray desk I mean uh, what's the thing called bench bench is still neutral enough that I can change if I wanted to do red pillows I can switch to red pillows maybe put the charcoal gray and red over there I can do charcoal gray and red I can do charcoal charcoal gray and orange charcoal gray and yellow charcoal gray and blue look good. just switch out the decor and you don't have to change up your furniture or anything we're going to, going to do, I think what I'm, oh, I think I'm going to need four pillows, but I think what I'm going to do is, no, three might be good. If I get like 24 inch pillows, I think three would be enough to put in front of these on the bed. So what I'm going to do is get charcoal gray pillows with some texture, and then I want a charcoal gray chunky blanket to put across the foot of the bed. I'm getting a charcoal gray bench, which is custom from our house. Yeah, but anyways, the bench will be here. And then we're going to do black nightstands on either side of the bed. I'm trying to get my hands in the right spots. But on either side of the bed, there's going to be black, black nightstands. We're going to do white curtains or like a cream colored curtain. And black and white lamps on top of the nightstands. And then we are going to do a really, the biggest black dresser I can find that I like right here on this wall and then of course some decor above that probably a plant over here or something to fill the space i don't know what we'll see and then of course we also need to do a couch on this side of the room which will definitely be cream colored or white and then we'll just play with color with the decor and the accents throw blankets pillows all that potentially 
we might do a coffee table we'll see if i can find a small one that looks nice and then also want to do a console table underneath the tv so that's my plan for this room we will see how everything comes together because finding these pieces like it's easy to say what you want but once you decide what you want you gotta find it <laughs> and you gotta like find pieces that work together and it's not easy so i put my bed together just so i can show y'all what it would look like and from the side this is what it looks like i purposely pulled the covers back from the pillow some so to make room first of all so we can get a nice thick um overlap right here but also so that i would have room to put pillows once I get those, um, I might, I've been looking on, I've seen a few pillows I liked on Overstock, Z Gallery, and where else? I think those were the main two places that I saw pillows that I liked. So I may or may not be ordering pillows pretty soon, but I'm about to pull it all off because I need to wash the sheets and everything. Like, Corey has been in here and everything is just, plus it's been over a week since I washed them, so they need to get washed anyway, but been in here messing stuff messing with stuff and she got like i don't know if that's i don't i think she got makeup on my sheets so let's go ahead pull everything off and then get this stuff into the washer Uh, I just finished folding up all the laundry and now I'm and I just logged off for lunch. Uh-uh, Corey, look at this mess. Uh-uh, clean this up. You lost your mind. Uh-uh. No, you will. Mm -mm, girl, clean it up. All right, let me see what. Let me pick up my trash too. And then I want to see what got delivered i think it got delivered to the um side of the house oh nope got delivered here oh oh my gosh okay this is actually a sponsorship so y'all will see it when um when i do that video <laughs> not her I'm done. Cody. <laughs> Cody driving it up the street, up the driveway. Her three point turn game. Oh, she getting it. Okay, Cody. Not what I ordered. What is that? I don't know if you 
these are like bases. I ordered a chair. A freaking bar stool and they sent me. I'm done. So I'm gonna send this back. Good morning, y'all. I am um it's like 6 30. I'm about to take Cody to the dentist. She's been complaining about her teeth hurting. So I'm about to take her to the dentist. Um, her appointment is at 9.30. But it is in Annapolis, which is an hour and a half away from out, from here. So we need to get on the road so that we can get over there before traffic gets too bad because I don't want to be sitting in traffic. I did want to show y'all this because I didn't get to show y'all the first time. This Caribbean jerk seasoning from um, Walmart is so good. So I just got like a family sized pack of chicken wings. You just put the jerk seasoning on it and then I'm gonna put them in the oven on 400 on a, um, in one single layer on a baking sheet. Also, these pecan sticky buns from Walmart are so good. This is what they look like. Also added some of these iced double chocolate sliced loaf slices. Presentation, a little bit of um, a little like dessert tray just for people to like grab a snack. I was craving something sweet yesterday, so I went to Walmart and found these. All right, so my wings are done. Now I'm just finishing up their pasta. This is just like a taco pasta. Literally, you just dump everything in here. It's like a one pan, one pot meal. I did um, some medium shells, one can of petite diced tomatoes, one can of tomatoes and green chilies, a pound and a half of ground meat. I did pork, because that's all I had. And then um, two packs of taco seasoning, water, and then some extra seasonings, and that was it. So as soon as this is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some extra sharp cheddar. I'm gonna finish that bag. Also gonna add some Kobe Jack, and then I'm gonna garnish it with some cilantro. And guys, I'm eating some licorice. Any chance you wanna come? Absolutely. Like that. Yeah, I'm talking Barbie. You don't have that much, you can't watch Barbie. I think we're okay now. It's a great night for it. Monsters don't exist, Chelsea. Mom, can you say it's not a duck or not? 